Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of the Crew 2 Live Summit. Now, uh, in the past week, uh, I've been grinding the game out. Uh, I managed to beat Tio. I've got myself the Supreme P1 over here. It was the only design that I actually liked the look of. Um, but what we did unlock is a rather special car, which I can't find. It's got to be here somewhere. Here it is. The Lancer Evolution X Black Knight Edition. Uh, this is actually really nice. The fact that I actually grinded out to unlock it. Oh, there's no visual parts. Oh, I'm gutted. Uh, but I want a blue tire wall on that. Um, so this car is actually slightly more powerful than the Red Fury one, I think. Ever so slightly, though. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put max parts on this. We're going to take it for a short test drive. And then we're going to go and start the summit. Because, um, people were asking, oh, how come the car's not out yet? It's because, um, it's when the summit finishes that you actually get to... Unlock the car, which is what we've done now. Oh, that looks nice. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, I love the look of this car. It's got some speed to it. It really does have some speed to it. Oh, got hit them. It's mandatory to hit all the uh, container bucket things that are on the middle of the highway. Ah, oh, now it looks like a shit tip. Right, so what we are actually here for today, though, is not to look at this car, even though it is absolutely stunning. Uh, the actual goal is to do the Player's Choice Life Summit. So, what we're going to do, we're going to load into that. We're going to take part in all the events. And, yeah, pretty much it. Um, we also need to buy the bundle. So, let's go take a look what cars we have to get. Uh, what they do is they like to bundle cars up. And these are cars that are mandatory in some of the events. And by the looks of it, we don't own them. So, this is going to cost us 702000 but if you own any of these cars, that price will go down. I'm looking forward to trying out that HUP1 car thing. Right. Let's go to the Player's Choice Summit. Yeah, if you look, all of these will have been um, locked out because we didn't have the stuff. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade my cars and I'll see you in a sec. Right, so all my vehicles have been upgraded, so what we're going to do, we're going to start with the aerobatics. Um, I managed to find a air race plane that actually has quite a lot of mobility. So I'm going to give it a try now. Oh, these air race planes are actually probably would be better at this one anyways. I mean, look at that. 10,000 points. Easy, no problem. A hundred and twenty-two thousand points. <laughs> 
straight away. Okay, uh, I think this summit is going to be... Oh, uh, yeah, we're already in platinum. We are already in platinum. <laughs> uh, time to go for the slalom for the off-road raid vehicles. I might see if I can change it to the raid bike. Or I might just do it in this car and say, fuck it. Um, where is the raid bike? Okay, 96, so that's more powerful. Hang on, no, we got more performance parts that we can put in. Hundred, hundred and two. There we go. Select that. There are loads of people taking part in this summit right now. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Whoa, I'm lost. Okay, let's retry that. I can't see anything. Uh, okay, over here. Whoa, get out my way. Seriously, get out my way. Oh, come on. Stupid car. Doesn't know what he's doing. Ah. Well, I know there's definitely room for improvement on this one. 80,000 points. Well, we're going again anyways. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Retry. Once more. Final attempt. Oh, did I not hit it? Oh, that's going to be even worse then. Actually, no, that might have been better. Only just. <laughs> yeah. By 95 points. We could get ourselves another, like, 800 points easily. So we could be getting into the 100,000 points for that. Oh. Right, boy smashing. I don't like boy smashing, so... Yeah, jet sprint... Boat probably would have been better. Oh my gosh. Get out of my way. Uh, where's the jet sprint? How is there so many people like going wherever I go?
I don't drive these jet sprint boats often, so... I'm just going to hit aim for the objective and that'll be it. Oh, I hit the red one. Eight thousand points. Oh yeah, we could do it in hovercraft, couldn't we? Forty-eight thousand points. I'll take that. Right, first street race is gonna be the classic muscle cars. Coastal range to Los Padre. 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 I know. Oh, all of these count. Uh, we'll go for the Dodge Charger Hemi. Because we're going to use the other one in the Hot Rod Race. So, just mix it up a little bit. Oh! It definitely drives like a heavy muscle car. I do love the Dodge um, Chargers. I really do. The um, the old Charger from I think it's Fast and Furious Seven and Six. The one with the massive blower. Oh, that just looks amazing. It might be seven, actually. Yeah, cheat the system a little bit. No one cares. This thing isn't very quick, so I'm presuming there's a lot of points available for it. Go a bit wide there. We're not in first place though. First place. Oh. Well, that had to happen to me, didn't it? I am driving against a Ferrari. This is definitely feels like Fast and Furious. The fact that all cars seem to work well together. Very Fast and Furious feel this race. Like a BMW. You would definitely see that mix up with a Lamborghini in Fast and Furious. Come on, come on, come on. We can do this. We can do this. Ninety three percent. Ah, okay, just made it.
Second place. Hundred and twenty five thousand points. Jeez. Right, time for the drift event, which is not gonna go well. Guaranteed not gonna go well. Uh it's a steel forge though, so it's okay. I didn't hit that. Yeah, we're not going to get many points off of this one because it is drift. I've definitely improved on my drifting a lot in the past, like, week. But that was because I was so, like, put out to get that, um, Mitsubishi, the Black Knight. So I was just grinding out, drifting, all of the events, drag racing. I now realise that wheel spinning at the start of a drag race isn't the way to go. But I didn't do drag racing much, so I didn't really notice that. Oh, and this is the uh, colourful tyre smoke that we won in the summit before. And it looks really nice. It's called Full Spectrum or something like that. Oh, and there's Don Joe One Song that I've got to try and beat. Mm, yeah, that's not happening. Actually, that might be possible if I was to do a second attempt. Because it's only 87,000 points. Forty-two thousand points. That could be easily doubled. It's just that I'm not very good on my first attempt. Twelve thousand points, yeah, I'm not expecting much out of that. Right, next one is the rally raid with the buggies. So that will be the aerial nomad. Probably we'll go for. Oh no, the nomad doesn't count apparently as a buggy. That's a little bit dodgy. Maybe it's too overpowered, who knows. Get out my way, wildlife. Woohoo! I absolutely... I am loving playing this game at the moment. Like, I would sit down and just grind this game out for hours on end. If it wasn't for the fact that I was doing YouTube and I needed to make sure that I got other content out... I would just sit on this all the time. Because this game is, for me at the moment, so much better than Forza. And I am more willing to play this than Forza Horizon 4, any of the Forzas. Because there's just so much more to do in it. And when the live summit comes around, oh, there's a rock there. When the live summit comes around, it gives you something to do. The Forza one, there's just too much to do. Like, whereas the summit, there's only a few events, but you can master each one. Whereas Forza, you have to complete so many different events, and it's just feels a little bit overkill. And the fact that you have to keep doing it just to get some of those rewards. It doesn't 
draw you back in either, because you can just buy those cars anyways. Of course, I hit a tiny tree. Right, so we definitely have room for improvement on this event. Obviously not going to do it today, but I will do it in spare time. Woo! Ow. 2.35, definitely beat that. 67,000 points. That's a good score. And we are 977th so far. We've still got three races to go. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the Hot Rod race next. Now the Hot Rod can actually be customised a lot, I think. So I will definitely be customising that later. Oh, I thought my game just died then. Um, so I'm in the process also of getting a capture card. So, hopefully, if all goes well, by next week we should have one. Faster, faster. Seriously, go faster. It's a pretty quick, though. The one thing with the Crew 2, though, is there's so many events and the map is just so much bigger that you can explore so much of it. I think I've explored most of the map, to be honest. Um, but certain games like the... Uh, uh, not the Crew 2. Um, Forza. The map is just way too small now. Like, they don't put enough effort in to develop... A really nice looking... I mean, the map is nice, but they don't develop the size enough. Like, if Forza Horizon 5 was, like, four times the size of... Ah... Uh, if it was four times the size of, um... Horizon 4, then I would love it so much more, because the map is just too small. And now I've got catching up to do, so I'm going to concentrate. I'm just getting further and further behind. Why are the other cars so much quicker? Oh, I give up on this event. We'll do this event later. Or another one. Let's just say I got that done. Uh, so the next event is going to be the... I don't know what that is. El Dorado Brougham. Brougham. This one. Ah. And it says it can do 225 miles an hour. Yeah, right. Oh dear. Right, I'm just restarting that. <laughs> I just crashed into like three walls straight away. One. Go. 
Oh, there's an Audi R8 there. No! I nearly went in that wall again. Oh, uh, why is it giving me windy corners? Cars like this weren't supposed to go down windy corners. Move. Oh, it's nice and quiet in here. I can hear myself think now. No, move out the way. Thank you. Yes, epic comeback time. Best place to start an epic comeback. Here we go. I'm faster than an Audi R8. I am also faster than an. No, not quite. Oh, I just did that. Oh, it wasn't just me. Haha. <laughs> oh, he's got some vanity rims on. That's nice. I'm just using the uh, wall riding tactic that everyone seems to use nowadays. This race is way too long. But it's a nice race, I just wouldn't do it in this vehicle. I would enjoy it and do it on a bike or something. I am now faster than a Mercedes AMG GT. For probably about 10 seconds and then I'm going to get overtaken. No. Okay, fair enough. Maybe I am faster. Um, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Got the checkpoint. I'm a second ahead. I highly doubt that. Okay, now everyone overtakes me. How does that work? I am not liking this event one bit. Okay, and we've got a crap ton of hairpins to deal with now. 
I remember doing this on a past summit. We had to get a Ferrari and we could only use a Ferrari on it. So I had to grind out to get enough credits to then do it. No, we can't overtake at last minute. Ah, we came second. Seventy four thousand points, though. Uh, that just shows how slow that vehicle is. So, touring car, no restriction. I am definitely going to be swapping cars round. Unless it's already in the car, which is this one. No, the parts aren't in there. Ah, they're in here. No. Ah. Put my legendary parts on this one. I don't get why it made me buy a touring car if it was no restriction, but... Oh, well, at least we own it now. Touring car, no restriction. We're going to go in the Ferrari FXXK today. There we go. FXXK. Two... One. Let's win. So this car is season pass only, I think. So um, if you do want this car, you have to buy the season pass. But it is definitely one of the most overpowered vehicles in the game. Oh, this is quite a nice scenic route. There we go. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. I don't think your car can go anywhere other than across that bridge. So I don't know why there's two checkpoints there, but you know. How are we only six seconds ahead? We're in a Ferrari FXXK. Those windows make it... Oh, it is quite dark, actually. Thirteen seconds ahead. Ah!
Buena. Nearly hit that tree. 144,000 points. Jesus. <laughs> and there was easily room for improvement on that. Hold up. Where is it? Let's take a look at this. Uh, is there like... Around the world leaderboard. Uh, top players. No. Can I not change it? Uh, stuck on friends. That's annoying. Uh, right, let's go back to the hot rod race. American cars in the Midwest. Two. Oh no! Go 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 go! No, I'm not. I'm not gonna win. I can guarantee you. Dead dude, dead. Dude, dead, dude, dead. Yes. Right, we are going this time. We're only two seconds ahead. But that's not the end of the world. It kind of is. It doesn't go well round corners. No. Don't say that. There'll be people dancing Fortnite dances. Oh, piss off. There we go. The cheeky block tactic. This is a hot rod. It doesn't turn. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. I gathered. Bad news. You're in last place. Good news. You can only go up from there. Look, that's full lock there. Ivory Tower, you are cruel. I gave your game compliments, and you've given me this harsh event. I can't even catch up because there's not enough acceleration. Hang on, we could start catching up at this section. Oh my god, how do walls slow you down that much? Okay, yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, those cars are legendary. Oh, 
I'm not going to catch up in time. No! I think I'm just going to sit this one out, Chief. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We are 649. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I feel a little bit more special every day. Mentally. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And I shall see you next time. Goodbye.